the one and the only Sir Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> He was one of the greatest entertainers that this country's ever known. The Showman. Inspirational. He's showbiz royalty. Legend. Bruce Forsyth. And Tess Daly. I'll never forget the first Strictly. It was back in 2004. And I was so nervous you know, working with this TV legend. I told him I was nervous, and he said, just walk out, darling, it'll be all right. Just walk towards me, and I'll give you a little twirl. The part where Bruce and Tess come on, he said, I need to do something here. They need to be choreographed. And he asked if I would do it. I can't tell you how that feels. Come dancing, come dancing, come dancing, come dancing, it's so the most extraordinary thing about Bruce was the way he treated people. He was always bubbly, always said hello to all of the band, always had time for everybody. It was just a great honour to uh, work with him, to be honest. That first show, I was sitting in my little dressing room and there was a knock at the door. And he said, Len, I just wanted to say, I hope you have a lovely show. And there I am, little old Len, the dance teacher from Dartford, sitting chatting with Bruce Forsyth. What people don't know, unless they've been to the show, is Bruce always did his own warm-up. He'd get up, he'd sing a bit of a song, he'd do a dance, he loved that. It was special, and you saw it in every single person in the audience. Come on and dance with me. One of my fondest memories, Bruce suddenly broke out into... Gangnam Style. And suddenly, everybody on the floor was joining in. It was brilliant. Bruce Forsyth was the ultimate entertainer. He could sing. He was comedic. He was a great dancer. Fantastic dancer. He was so talented. His catchphrases have become part of Strictly history. It's time to meet the stars of our show. You know, one of the things that I loved about him was when he would tell you that you were his favorite. You're my favorite. <laughs> Oh, you're my favourite. You're my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean you're necessarily doing well, but you're still his favourite. Am I still your favourite? <laughs> she said, am I still your favourite? She said, shall I? Shall I? <laughs> you're my favourite. <laughs> Bruce was always there to support each and every contestant. It was completely painful to watch. Oh. 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 I'm, I'm not being rude, but sometimes you're painful to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> and it's jibes like that that I absolutely loved. I got plenty of yellow or red cards from Bruce, but he was always done in a very generous way. Lenny, of course, is from London, and we all know where Bruno's from, another planet. <laughs> <laughs> When I first came on the show, I don't know if he read my nerves, because he did tell me that I had to speak louder. I don't think Darcy's mic is on. Talk louder, woman. <laughs> Brucey was always about jokes. I remember being Shrek, and he was making fun of my ears. What a job! That, that was really good! Thank you! <laughs> I remember when I was dancing with Dave Myers, the hairy biker, and Bruce, right before we danced, he made a joke. I said to Dave, you know when you're riding your bike and it goes up at the front? I'd love to know what that's called. He said, wheelie. I said, yes, I really would. <laughs> you laugh about it, and it almost makes you forget that you're going to go and do this big thing in front of 12 million people. It was a twinkle in his eye. He just wanted to have fun. The timing of the jokes, I don't think anybody else would do it the same. And I think that's what made it unique to him. He asked me what my favorite film was. I said, The Wizard of Oz. He said, why? I said, because, 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 because. <laughs> it takes a special person to have that comedic time, and, and he had it. I'm in a funny mood tonight. I know you are. <laughs> I hope it lasts. When I first joined the show, I joined with four other dancers, and he was going down the list of names. Ali Ash, Scurry, Annette. Jeanette man -ra, ra And thank goodness, an easy one. All the way from Grimsby, <laughs> Kevin Clifton. As soon as those words came out of his mouth, everywhere I go, Kevin from Grimsby, I'm Ian from Huddersfield. <laughs> He was so warm, so loving, the kindest man in the whole world. He's one of those people that will never be forgotten. So many of us have shared so many special moments with him over the years. It's incredibly odd to think that he's not around, but I bet he's watching. <laughs> I'm here every Saturday. <laughs> Fly 
fly me to the moon and let me stay among the stars. Bruce, the host let with the most, and a true gentleman like until the end. On Jupiter and Mars. For entertaining the nation with every joke, song, and dance. Thank you. Brucey, partner, we'll miss you. I love you. Keep dancing! dancing. his children, his grandchildren, and his great-grandchildren, and everyone, and I mean everyone at Strictly, is thinking of you. He was a legend to so many people, but to us at Strictly, he was just Brucey, and it was his hard work, dedication, and professionalism that helped make this show what it is today. And to put it in his own words, didn't he do well? <laughs> Woo!